Welcome to the Rad Titan Dollhouse, a place where Alex and Gio don't go, but we will. Today, I've gotten three new hot toys in my collection. Ant-Man, for the movie Ant-Man and Wasp, and both Hawkeye and Black Widow for the movie Endgame. So if you've got a little bit of time, you want to check out these new hot toys that have come into my collection, I dare you today to join me in the Rad Titan dollhouse. Now, let's take a look at Ant-Man first. Need to get my sleeves ready as Gio would get ready. Ant-Man has been out, I think I ordered it about a year ago. It's finally come in the collection about a month ago. Um, there's been a lot of good things, a lot of bad things about it. Um, good things is, don't display it with the unmasked head. It looks great. If you display it with the unmasked head, it looks like crap. So, usually what I do is, I kind of know how I want to display it in my collection. I got this because they did not issue one for the movie Endgame. So I'm trying to do an Endgame line, and I was like, okay, I'll just use this, supplement it for the Ant-Man that showed up in the Endgame movies. So, as you can see, the art box, nothing special. It's a regular art box, hot bo art box that Hot Toys does. I'm going to open it up. Usually whenever I'm opening these up, and I have a little, little scissors and a little tweezers so I can take the plastic off uh, that, that's on the uh, figures themselves. And I'll have a little bit of, you know, I guess who's made it or who's behind the actual figure. Put that in there. Now, Right there. As you can see, it's packed up pretty well. I can already see off the top of it, off the top of the bat. It's a pretty goofy looking head. It's got a nice smiley face. I don't remember that in the movie. I guess because he's trying to do a comical uh, kind of view. I can tell you right now, I'm not going to display it. He may not even leave the box. I may just leave him like that. Sometimes I'll do that. They have so many different hands and switch outs um, to give a lot of 1-6 uh, uh, collector, collectors a lot of different options to display. So let's take him out of the box. He looks pretty good. Now I've got all the Ant-Man that, that uh, Hot Toys has, has uh, issued and for different reasons I have like Civil War Ant-Man down there um, then I have the regular OG Ant-Man right here. So I kind of go when I'm doing my lines with 1-6, it's like, okay, what do I want to do with it? What, who do I need to put in it? Usually sometimes Hot Toys issues all the Hot Toys in that line. Sometimes they don't. So you got to sign a supplement or figure out, okay, how do I do the end game? They didn't do an end game's Hot Toys uh, or Ant-Man uh, end game. So I'm going to get the one for the movie. So I'm going to take some of this plastic off. Looks pretty good. So, he actually looks really good. The plastic, the rubber, I'm not seeing any issues with it. He looks good. So, let's take a look at the base. It's like a little building. You want to use a building. Uh, probably because you want to make him look like giant Ant-Man. We'll take that out for a second just to see what that looks like. I'm going to get the base out here. looks good. We'll take a look at this. Yeah, I can understand why. Come up to the camera. Why the complaints about that. I don't know why they did a happy face. It's kind of goofy. I know the other ones they did not do. But as they say in the Rad Titan dollhouse, we'll just put them back in the plastic. Like this, like this, and he goes back in the box, and he won't come back out. Then they got some other hands and accessories. They look like they got some batteries. I think the 
helmet lights up. They got different hands. They got a little, that's pretty cool, little ant man. So if you want to put a little ant man down there, you got a little ant man. And he's got, uh, I think that's what he used to jump. So you can just put those right there for the time being. You can do different display offense holding it. Um, and then they got, and I think this is the piece uh, for the unmasked kit. So that's just going to stay boxed in there. And that's pretty much it. I mean, they got this building thing. You know, it looks like if you want to uh, also just attach it or something, if you want to pull it, I think that's what they were using to pull. Um, but I can tell you this, this little building thing, Ain't leaving the box. It's not what I want to do with uh, Ant-Man from Endgame. So for the purpose of this one, I don't need the little Ant-Man, so he'll go back in the box. We're just going to kind of keep it like this for now. Because sometimes with Hot Toys, if you leave a different pose too long, the rubber may rip. It just depends on your climate and everything else. I'm kind of digging... Just kind of how he's looking right now. Sometimes they're just great right out of the box. So I'm going to do a little close up. There he is. I'm liking it. So we'll do a, leave him there. Pull him up. As Gia says, his little crotch, use that to just kind of hold the figures in place. And that's kind of Ant Man there. So he'll complete my endgame. I am getting Wasp because Wasp showed up in endgame, so I need Wasp. So those two will go together, and that, that'll kind of complete that thing. So what we'll do, we'll move this to the side. Like I said, there's all kind of parts, so many different options you could do with Hot Toys. It just depends what you're doing, what you're after, and everything else. All right. Now here we have Hawkeye or Ronin, however you want to display it. You could display it both ways. And then you got Black Widow from Main Game 2, and then Ant-Man. So kind of how I think I'm going to go with these three for now is kind of like this look. As you can see, Hawkeye put the little knife dagger in the back. It just kind of with his look. I put some quivers and you can actually put some arrows in the back. Ant-Man, the unmasked head ain't leaving the box, but I'm really liking the rest of him. He's perfect for Endgame. And then Black Widow, she's right up there with uh, Winter Soldier. She's that, she's that good. And so what I'm gonna do I'm going to put them on this shelf over here. So let's just take him. Already got it open. Hot guy right there for now. What I use, I use D Detoss for my hot toys. They're great. They can use for XM too. Just got a U bolt the bottoms. Right there, there. And put Ant Man right there for the time being. And that'll be the kind of their new home until I get some more of the end game up and then I'll probably shift it around. I may put, more I think about it, because Black Widow's a little bit smaller, put Ant-Man in the back. And this is the problem, when you get these figures, they look so good. You can do just so many different poses. There you go. That looks even better. And then I just close that up. I just wanted to thank you today for joining me in the Rad Titan dollhouse, a place where Alex and Gio don't go. It was a workout, as Gio would say, but we got to see three really cool amazing hot toy figures today. The Ant-Man from Ant-Man and Wasp, Hawkeye from Endgame, 
and Black Widow at Endgame. I was really happy with what I saw and got to open and got to display as you saw where I put them. Yes, there's good and bad things about each, but it all comes down to is how you want to display it, what you're trying to do with that line uh, that came out from Hot Toys. Yes, all of them may come out, some of them may not come out. You gotta mix and you know match to put them in your collection. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like it, subscribe to Rad Titan, and you guys all have a great day. Thank you.